Hi, Ben here for a Ben Jacobson photo camera bag review. Uh, today I have with me the Low Pro Whistler 450. Uh, I wanted to give it its own review. I, it is included in my uh, four bag back panel access comparison review that I'm working on. Uh, but this bag has impressed me enough. I really wanted to give it a, you know, a video review to just give it the attention it really deserves because this bag has really impressed me. I saw this at Photo Expo in New York City in October. Uh, really like the bag. Uh, it's, it's low pros. It's basically their shot at getting some of the business back from F-Stop uh, because F-Stop makes the best ski bags, ski camera bags to date that I've seen. Um, and this bag is very much going for that segment. Um, so let me just break it down for you real quick and show you what I have in this. I actually just carried four tripods and a fifth on the outside in this bag to this beach to do a tripod review that, go that goes with the four bag comparison. So look for both of those reviews. I'll link them underneath this and put it in. It'll, they'll both be on my website. Uh, but yeah, just to show you, when I turn sideways, A, for, for one thing, I'm six foot four for reference. Um, and this bag fits me very well in terms of height. It's a large bag. They do make a smaller version, the 350. So if you're concerned about overall height, definitely look at the measurements and check out the 350. Um, but yeah, you'll notice it's, it's pretty well loaded right now. Feels great on my back. There's four tripods in this bag right now and my full landscape kit. So let me show you how everything fits and how everything works. Um, as I take it off, I want to do show you, show you two details. Um, the waist strap has a nice little pouch here. Um, a strap over here to add, uh, you can add bags and stuff kind of with the, uh, those strap systems. Um, they also tighten from the outside, which a lot of bag companies are doing now, but it, it's just worth noting. It's, it's a very nice way to get your hip strap tight. You pull from here instead of out, it's just more natural. Um, but then one detail that's really struck me as great is the sternum strap here. And sorry if this is making noise because I know my mic is right here as well. But the sternum strap, the side of the buckle on my left, is attached to the bag it, it slides up and down on a strap but it doesn't dangle almost every other bag i have has like a strap like this on both sides you have to use two hands to do it in the process of taking four bags around to get them places to test them out and to review them over the past month i've really learned to love the fact that i can do this one one-handed you put the other bags on you can't do it and you're like oh man that's a great feature so it's it's worth noting um, the other thing is this harness, I'm, like I said, I'm a tall guy and the harness fits. It comes to my, it comes down to my armpits where a lot of times I'll get bags and they're up over my shoulders. So it's definitely a harness that fits on me, um, and will most likely fit just about anybody because it's, you don't run out of space. So two great aspects of it there. Um, another thing to keep on the harness is it has these straps on the top, which are to help make it fit really well to, to adjust the straps around your shoulders. Um, but the effect that these get is because they pull the straps up to make it a little taller, they also hold the straps out of the way of the back panel. So if you see here, um, they, they're not in the way. Uh, with the mind shift, it would kind of flop in the way. You can, t you can easily take them on this bag or any other bag and flip them around the outside and do this and they stay out of the way. So it's not a problem with other bags, but with this bag, you just simply take it off and they stay out of the way. You can unzip this and it's completely out of the way. So, and now to show you what fits in here, I have my Sony a7R Mark II with a 16 to 35, Tamron 150 to 600 uh, with the Sony adapter, Sony 24 to 240, my filters, GNDs in a uh, Mindshift filter hive, and then here is a Getzo tripod that actually fits in this insert. Um, my traditional tripod, it was a Siri 1204X, and it's an inch too short. It just would come right up to here and not fit in. Um, so. This is a for the for the other review that I'm working on. I, I have two tripods in house right now that would fit in this bag. Uh, this is my preferred tripod. Um, it's great that it fits in here. Now, part of the reason you need to switch to that is because uh, Low Pro. This is an insert in this bag. If we pull this out, kind of hard to get out, but you can see that this whole block comes out of the bag, kind of like F-Stop's ICUs. Now on the sides, this is like a, I don't want to call it a board, but it's a very, it's stiffer than cardboard. It's probably plastic of some sort uh, on all four sides, not the back or the front, but all four sides have that. That alone takes up enough room that my other tripod doesn't fit. Now the reason I know that is I've taken this insert completely out of the bag. When doing so, any of my tripods just float around in there. There's tons of room. 
There's so much room, in fact, the entire Mindshift 26L backpack, the whole thing, if you take this insert out, the whole backpack fits in there. So because Low Pro is really going for a protection option on their insert, it's taken a lot of valuable room from the bag. It's made the bag a little heavier. Uh, and really, that's the only negative I have of this bag is the insert being that thick and, and overbuilt. Yes, it's safer. Yes, if I fall on it, it's better. But that's not a concern of mine. Um, because it's overbuilt to that regard, it just makes it, you know, you lose valuable space and you're carrying more weight. So my preference would be to change that insert out, uh, make it a little lighter weight, make, get rid of the, the hard rigidity in the sides and give them, give me the weight. And it, what would really be great is if they had like a little Velcro slot on the backside, the part that's way in the back, so that at home I could pop those panels out, leave them at home, and I would have the best of both worlds for me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a thought. This padding here is also almost twice as thick as mine shifts. Um, so it just takes up again space. Now, one thing I will say is they give you these orange dividers here that are amazing. It's one divider, but it has a pocket in the middle that has Velcro. Really, really nice feature there. You can stick batteries in there, memory cards in there, all sorts of little things. Cables are a great thing to go in there. Um, I love the storage options. So that's really nice. I do love the orange contrasting color so you can see in your bag. And it's a light gray, which makes it again easy to see in the dark. Um, so it's a really nice setup that way. Uh, so, like I said, only negative really is that this is so thick it, it takes valuable space. So let's put this down, close this back up. Um, another com uh, thing I'll, I'll mention is the material here, you notice that was just laid down on the sand and didn't pick anything up. There's no sand on that. With the mine shift, they use a mesh. Uh, F-Stop uses it on their straps and waist belt, but not this panel. And then the in-case bag, they all have mesh somewhere that'll pick sand up. I obviously shoot on sand beaches enough that I don't like having the sand there. So it's nice having this material that, oop, almost gonna get wet, uh, that the sand just doesn't even get picked up on. I don't, have to, I don't have to brush it off. So we are gonna take one step towards you. So there's that. Um, I, really, I really like that material. Now, the one other thing, one of the, three, one of the four bags I have is an in-case and this panel opens sideways. Uh, which I've learned to prefer. It's, it's the way it flips over, you just, you flop it on the sand less. Now, again, this material is not a problem at all, but you're folding it towards yourself generally with when you set the bag down. Um, opening it to the side seems to stay out of the way a little bit better. So it's just a nice alternative. Um, now this bag, especially versus the F-Stop, the materials are a little thicker and more rugged. The bag probably weighs a little bit more because of that, but it, it also seems like it would be more waterproof. So that's a plus for me. Has excellent straps on the side for uh, A-frame ski carry. Uh, they give you, when you get the bag, there's two orange straps with nice metal hooks on them. These hook in here and then with one on the other side and wrap around like this. They're for doing a snowboard carry vertical down the back. Um, very nice straps. If you were carrying anything else, they'd be, they'd be great for that too. Um, so that's very nice. You have a compartment here that would easily fit a pair of goggles, a whole bunch of small accessories, even a, even my A7 will fit up there. Um, so a great, great space there for stuff. And then the cool thing is, here's, you know, you wanna see how much room is in here. There's three travel tripods collapsed and in there. Um, they're, I think, 18 inches long a piece, and, you know, their diameter is large. There's a lot of room in there. Now, that compartment is designed to hold your water bladder if you want. There's a hook on the top for that. Um, but it's really designed for your snow tools if you're going skiing. Shovel, probe, all that good stuff. A snow saw if you carry one, your skins, throw it in there. There's actually, let's get these tripods out of here. Go ahead and set these back down. There's one. Oop. There's two, there's three. All right, so this is like a rubbery material. So the nice thing there is anything you throw in there that's wet, it's not going to get in through to the camera bag. So you don't have to worry about that. Even if your water bladder were to break, I'm very confident it wouldn't be an issue for two things. This seems very waterproof. I say seems because I don't know, and I'm not gonna promise you anything, but the other thing is there's a grommet right here at the bottom. So if you were to literally dump water in here, it's going to go out the hole at the bottom before it seeps through the back no matter what. So they really spent some time making this a bag for you. Keep your camera gear safe, but go into the back country. 
Um, you can see this this orange thing here is for you know you generally I would put my probe in there so you know you have an issue you can grab your probe in a hurry your shovel and your shovel handle will be in here too so they come out um, but yeah it's designed as a snow sports backpack the even the f-stop which is near identical in size and function they put a padded laptop sleeve in there which I always said in my reviews of that bag you're not taking laptops in the backcountry, and generally people have a padded bag for their laptop anyway so I didn't really get that um, Low Pro has really gone out and made a bag that's just logically set up for backcountry. Um, and now the other thing that's really nice is there's a zipper here that I've, I have it expanded to have more room in this compartment. But as you go around, it sucks up the size of the bag to make this smaller and it slims everything down. I need it to have the three tripods in there, obviously, but it gives you the option to open and close that. Uh, as I said, this material is almost rubbery, hard to explain, um, but it's not going to absorb much. Sand brushes right off of it, it's really a nice material. Uh, you have two ice axe loops down here. Uh, you have, if you want to carry a tripod outside the bag and you're not carrying skis, you could put it on either side where the skis are. Um, there are ways to put the tripod on there, but for me, a tripod goes inside, and when I ski, I generally don't take a tripod, so it's one or the other. Um, but yeah, this bag has really... It's taken all my complaints with the f-stop and improved on them because the f-stop i didn't like the insert either um, and then if i can find a better insert solution here or maybe even just get the plastic out of there then i think the larger tripods would fit in here and be perfect uh, but yeah this bag it's really hit on a lot of cues for me done really well i really like it i just thought it would it was worth my time to review it for you guys maybe you'd appreciate it too um, another comment i will make is uh, mind shift uses brightly colored zipper pulls on their bags and these are orange on the back but all these zipper pulls are gray on a gray bag i have noticed sometimes i'm fishing for them a little bit more and then the other funny thing is this set operate the gusset if, if you want to call it that that makes the bag just thicker has the same color zipper pulls and you know they're very close to each other I found a lot of times you unzip this, you go to open the top and you're like, oh, whoops. So one of the things I'm going to do to this bag if I keep it is I'm going to take these and leave them gray, these and switch them to orange or, you know, just some other color so you, you can quickly identify them. Um, but yeah, very good bag. Oh, one other quick trick that I know, I, I know I didn't show you is take these two zippers, zip them to this seam right here, and this folds open and you have access to just the top portion. Things can't fall out. I mean, they should be in there pretty well anyway, um, but also less snow and things like that can get in here depending on what you're doing, but it's just a nice quick access. This folds out of the way. Uh, so another neat feature. Um, but yeah, this has been a very impressive bag for me. I saw it at Photo Expo, really liked it there. Uh, and yeah, picked one up over the Black, their Black, Black Friday sales and I've been testing it since and I've been really pleasant pleasantly surprised and sorry i know that's on the mic um but yeah it's been a fantastic bag i look forward to skiing with it this winter uh i know for a fact this will replace my f-stop for me um it's that good and i'm really trying to figure out a way to get some better inserts in the camera section and this will be my one camera backpack which is kind of a it's a goal of mine to try to get down to just one bag for all my gear so that's where i'm headed hopefully this has shown you the different aspects of this bag um, so you can make a decision based on your needs because I know we all are looking for uh, different camera bags for different reasons and we all like different things so you know we're not all going to like the same camera bags and I, I know myself I watch a lot of reviews just to see what I like and see if bags are you know pass or fail so hopefully this helps you make your decision uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the bottom under the video on YouTube or if you're on my site leave comments below I'll get back to you either way uh, and yeah, this is Ben for Ben Jacobson Photo with a, a Low Pro Whistler 450 review. Thank you very much.